This isn't a question that is not directly linked here, but given the Swedish policy of having imported uh, much from Brazil, as a matter yeah, of fact. Yeah, that's correct. Is there, and especially <coughs> considering that Sweden has always been at the forefront of, uh, uh, of, of helping uh, poor countries yeah. and, and try to alleviate poverty and hunger, do you see a problem here of reconciling your country's objectives with the food crisis and biofuels? Yes, I, 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 can see, I can see a problem in that, because if all European countries were to uh, gear on to the Swedish system with, uh, with this sugarcane ethanol from Brazil, yes. well, we wouldn't have land enough in Brazil to produce so much ethanol. So I think Sweden must take a responsibility to develop, uh, first, first and foremost, we'd, we should drive less. Uh, yes, th that's yes, the first. yes, yes, but, yes. But, but also to uh, perhaps have a more of a domestic production of, uh, of biofuel. Some people say that it's not... Uh, uh, it's not uh, economically wise to produce it domestically, but I think if you look into the whole circle, uh, I think it can be quite uh, economical to produce biofuels and especially to produce biogas uh, out of the waste, out of the waste from the agriculture, uh, from the households. Uh, you can produce gas from that and you can use the biogas to drive cars on it. And there I think an awful lot more can be done and should be done. But uh, tell me something on the, on the, on the you touched on a very important point, which is uh, uh, consumer behavior. Mm. Uh, there is no the the directive or the legislation hasn't factored in uh, education towards better driving, has it? Uh, I'm not sure, but uh, you're probably right. No, there is not. I you see, this so. is what people have said, and uh, and people that are really uh, experts on the subject. Uh, as long as you don't factor in uh, 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 consumer behavior, I mean, in terms of giving incentives for the people like you do in Sweden, but mm. you have a, maybe a greater uh, citizenship responsibility mm. uh, that, uh, like Slovenia joined you as a matter of fact, they say <coughs> less individualistic driving habits. Oh yeah, that, um, <laughs> that, that's a very important point. And uh, I think uh, a country like Slovenia, they could, uh, could uh, s initiate a system where you give premiums to car, uh, carpools. Correct. Uh, so, so if you do carpooling, if you are uh, three or four families uh, sharing one car, yes. well, then you could uh, be able to park your car for free, for instance. Right. Uh, we have that system in, in Stockholm, and right where I live, uh, there are a couple of streets, yes. and those are reserved uh, just for cars within a carpool. And I think that's, a, that's an excellent system. And, and because it's a bit complicated to have a car in a big city too. So if you can share it within a pool uh, or within, together with some other families, it's uh, much more convenient for everybody and it becomes cheaper. And there should be premiums given to those people who start those kind of uh, carpools. Yes, uh, yes. Another premium or another incentive could be um, to facilitate for, uh, for people to to, uh, to pick up each other when they go to work and, and so on, because people have a very, um, it's very, uh, very traceable habits. You go from your home to, to your job. Yes. You do your job eight hours and then you go back again. Yes. And then all of a sudden, uh, perhaps you didn't know, but uh, if someone could set up an internet page, you could see that your next door neighbor is doing exactly the same, exactly, uh, exactly. Uh, exactly the, the same um, track with right. uh, his or her car. And then you could uh, go together. And, uh, and uh, there should be a system to help people to, to find each other. And that could be done uh, over the internet. And that's not very expensive, but somebody has to do it. And that could be the local authorities or the state in each member country. Perhaps also the European Union could give money to those kind of projects. But it seems that in this respect, I mean, uh, the smaller country have had, of course, more success than the bigger country. Yeah. Because if you take the example of Sweden, if you take the example of Slovenia, if you take the the, ex, the 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 experience of the of the Netherlands, for example, mm. where they ride bicycle uh, yeah. greatly, yeah. I think that the work that has to be done, it seems to me, uh, must be mostly in the big co bigger countries. <coughs> yeah, um, very much so. Yes, I, I agree. Another example is. Uh, uh, con congestion targets. Yes, um, yes, um, yes. Um, uh, we, we have that in uh, in Stockholm, and uh, that works uh, pretty well. Uh, the total con congestion in in the traffic went down with uh, some 10, 15 percent, and uh, that was quite substantial because now we have a better flow in in the traffic. But then you ha you need to help people to to leave the car at home and uh, transport uh, he or herself 
uh, with public transport. Yes, and yes. So yes. perhaps you have to invest more in uh, in the underground, or you have to put in more money public in transportation. Uh, yeah, overall in in public transportation. Also help people to to park their car. If you live in a suburb, yes, perhaps you can take your car seven kilometers and you park your car there, and then you take your suburban train and you go in right into the city center. And if you show the ticket from that uh, train, well, then perhaps you have the parking for free or 50%. Yes. Th there's a lot of things like that that yes. uh, could be done. Well, the the European I'm Union could, could perhaps give money to the member states, but then I think each and every member state should de decide themselves what kind of solutions are best for them.